the Davis brothers went to a revival meeting and uh, uh, we were friends and I didn't like the idea that they went to church because after all I've been through, the church was an enemy. People in the church were weak and to me, I thought they were weak and cowards and wouldn't fight and, and, and that's how we were in the, in the street. So when I saw them, I felt like they were abandoning us, the rest of us, to go on chasing after this, this Jesus thing. And when I would see them come back and they would minister to a lot of our other friends because they were excited about being saved and they would tell the rest of the guys, saying, you, you need to stop these drugs and stuff and come and get saved. Well, if they get saved, that leaves, I lose a lot of customers. I said, I'm gonna, send, I'm gonna send some curses after them, some spirits to curse them, to stop them, slow them down. And so these little spirits, I called them up. They came up out of the ground and I told them, I said, I'm sending you over here and I want you to go over there and stop these guys. A warning, I'm giving them a warning. I want you to ter terrorize them, torment them, night and day, 24 hours a day till they come back out here in the streets with us. So I sent this little one about so big. He went over there and he came back and he says, I can't do nothing to them, they're protected. And I stole that spirit, I said, what did I tell you to do? I told you to go destroy them. He went out again and it came back and said, I told you, I can't touch them, they're protected. So I said, get out of here. I sent him you back down to the floor where you come from. So I another one, I sent a bigger, I said a bigger one this time, a little bigger than about that size. And I said, now you go and do what that other one, he didn't do. I said, you go and destroy them. You go, you tear everything up, you tear their house up, you tear their mama up, you tear their cars up, set the house on fire with them in it. Do everything I tell you to do, you better not fail. So that spirit disappeared and it went. And then I waited, I waited for a few days and that spirit came back with a sad look on his face. And I said, did you do what I told you to do? He said, I can't touch them. Just like the other one told you, we can't touch them, they're protected. And I got mad at him, I brushed him off. Then I astral projected out of my body. Left my body at one place, then I went into another place. And when I got there, I found exactly what it was, like a snap of a finger. And when I got there, there was, there was two eight foot tall angels with a flaming sword. They, they, they looked like they had been working out in the gym. They was tough. And, they, and, I, and I stood around the back of a telephone pole and I peeked out at them. I said, man, I see why them little imps couldn't do nothing. Wow. Then I went back. I went back into myself. And I said, man, these guys, wow. They got some serious power, man. My God, they got some power behind them. 